we can also determine the charge. This lesson is about charge of an atom if we know its numbers of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So if you know the subatomic particles, you can figure out the charge. So let's review our little chart. We're interested this time, uh, last, we sometimes are interested in the mass, but this time we are interested in the charge column. And if we look, protons have a plus one charge and electrons have a minus one charge. Neutrons don't have any charge. So if we're interested in finding out about the charge of the atom, we don't care about neutrons. We can just completely ignore them. How many neutrons there are in an atom has nothing to do with the charge. So we can pretty much ignore them. Just like I just said all this. So for the charge, we consider only protons and electrons. So how do we consider them? Well, to determine the number, the charge of an atom, we count p -p -p protons as positives. P -p 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 protons are p -p 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 positives, and electrons are negatives. And all we do is add them up. When we add them up, we need to be really careful to remember to count the electrons because they are negatively charged as negative numbers. Negative numbers. Electrons are negative. So. Consider the following atom. This atom has 12 protons, it has 13 neutrons, and it has 10 electrons. And we want to know its charge. So, what are we going to do? First thing we're going to do is we're going to remember that we don't care about the neutrons. It doesn't matter. It has 10 or a billion neutrons. That doesn't change the charge at all. So we're only going to look at the protons and the electrons. So what do we do with those? Well, we just learned that protons are positive. So I'm going to put 12 positive charges and electrons are negative, 10 negative charges. So add them up, 12 positive numbers, 10 negative numbers, uh, essentially ends up being 12 minus 10, 12 positives, 10 negatives, 12 minus 10 gives us a net charge. Net charge is what we call the number we get up when we get when we add all these up is well, that's right, it's plus 2, positive 2. So adding up the 10 and subtracting the, I'm sorry, the 12, and adding the 12 and subtracting the 10 gives us a net charge of plus 2. So just remember, we added the protons and we subtracted the electrons. To get the charge, that's what we do. We add the protons, we subtract the electrons. So the charge equals protons minus electrons. There's our formula. Charge is protons minus electrons. So uh, this atom has a charge, so of course we're not going to refer to it as an atom anymore. Now we're going to refer to it as an ion! Oh, I love me some ions. So here's an example. Let's determine the charge uh, of an ion if its atom has 15 protons and 18 electrons. How would you do that? 